Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are live here with Karma Tribe Live, our amazing show, Blissin' Out. Uh, I'm Jackie. And I'm Dave. Nice to see you guys. Nice to share this morning time with you guys. It's a pleasure Such to be a here. pleasure, yes. Good morning. I hope you guys are all doing well this morning. Hope you're having an amazing time waking up. Perhaps you're having a coffee, maybe giving it a little stretch. I hope you're feeling great and smiling. So, yes, um, we are coming to you live from yep. Hermosa. Costa Rica, this beautiful place. It's a fantastic day. Yes, it's a beautiful day. The seasons are changing. Yeah. Recently, uh, it was raining a lot, but now the summer is starting to roll in. The dry season, it's heating up. It's been uh, beautiful days every day. Fantastic. Really nice breeze coming off of the ocean. Not to make anybody jealous over there if you're in Chicago, where my family's from, uh, yeah. with a bunch of snow and you're frozen, I'm sure. But hopefully we can send you some of our amazing warm vibes and that can hopefully warm your soul from the inside yeah and thanks so much for tuning in uh, we love to know uh, who, uh if you're watching where you're from it's a pleasure to to connect with people and um yeah even if you're watching this like a week later uh it's really a pleasure to know where you're from so yes don't be shy about the comments don't be shy about the the likes and the hearts and uh yeah, thank you for being with us. Thank you for being with us. And yeah, feel free to leave any comments. If you if you like it or put a little heart or me encanta, it kind of like shoots across our screen and makes us really happy. So feel free. Feel free to contribute to our, our happiness in that way. Comment where are you from? Where are you tuning in from? What's going on in your life? How are you? And yeah, we want to know everything. We want to know everything about you. Uh, so Jackie, we have an amazing show planned for today, don't we? We have a fantastic show today and we're super excited to share it with you. Um, we are going to be discussing an amazing topic dear to my heart, which is, which is the topic of gratitude. And this is a topic that I myself am very thankful for. Mm. I've been learning a lot about gratitude lately and it's power. We have an amazing guest. Uh, with us that we're going to bring on shortly, who's going to blow your mind. She's amazing. And hello to Steven from La Fortuna. What's uh, up, man? Thank you for saying hello. Thanks for tuning in. Wow, La Fortuna. I hope you're enjoying some hot springs up there, man. I mean, the, yeah. the Agua Termo. Or exactly. Agua Termales. Ahí están. Pero que bien. <sighs> Welcome to our show. And again, I'm Jackie. And, and I'm Dave. And this is... Blissin out. out and we're happy to be sharing with you today. Thank you again so much. Um we're going to be discussing gratitude. We're going to be discussing gratitude. Uh this this show is is in part to promote our project Karma Tribe, which is a website <laughs> karmatribe.com where you can offer and request free services. And Jackie, it's based on the philosophy that the more you give, the more you get back uh, later. And, uh, yeah, especially for when it's from the heart, yes. it has a magic multiplying effect. It, uh, an act of kindness can really go a long way in helping someone and it can inspire others too. Agreed. I love it. And you know, Karma Tribe is just basically a platform, um, where you can feel free to offer or request anything that you could possibly want. Um, it can be random. It can be a service, some item that you might need in your house. If you are looking to learn a different language, there are tons of language favors on Karma Tribe. I was noticing still they yeah. keep growing. Yeah. Um, favors of all types, transportation, language, recipes, recipes, le lessons on musical instruments. It's incredible. I mean, the abundance is insane. The so you should is check it out. Insane. It's amazing. So karmatribe.com, if you haven't checked it out, please feel free to log on, create an account. Of course, it's all free. And then you have access to unlimited goods and services um, as you wish. Yeah, so enjoy it's, it. It's a network of people that just enjoy helping each other. Yes. I would say. I would say so. So it's, Jackie, as I serve you a mate here, yes. which is, you know, our energizing tea drink from yes. South America. Uh, what can you tell us about this, this amazing guest that we have about to come on? I have to say that this guest has has inspired me in so many ways. Just standing around her just feels like it's it's like happiness is like just radiating from her and it's contagious. Um, she's a woman of action. She's a woman of wisdom. And 
just an extremely good friend and inspirational person to have around us. Uh, she's got so many skills, including she's a life coach. Um, she's a great surfer, amazing surf buddy, mm-hmm. and just overall great friend. I mean, endless stories that she has to tell about her life, and and I just, yeah, I aspire to be something like you uh, in my own way, in so many ways. So uh, are we going to have her on now, or would you like to? Yeah, let's let's have her on now. Without any further ado, let's bring yes. on our, our guest, yes, Maya. this is my dad. Come on down, Come on Maya. In. Don't be shy. Come on Come down. Come on in. Wow. Like, Amazing. I don't know if I had enough coffee oh. this morning for this. <laughs> mm. No problem. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, thank you guys for your comments and your likes. We have 10 viewers right now. Um, and so thank you guys so much for joining us today. This is Maida, our amazing friend. Please tell us a little bit about your passions. Oh gosh, where do we start? So <laughs> I would not call myself an amazing surfer, but I am amazingly passionate about surfing. And uh, I'm also a dancer. And uh, I do business life and executive coaching all over the world. But I live so here in amazing. Costa Rica. Yes. yes. So happy to have her here in Costa Rica. This is a beautiful place to live. And you can just tell that you embrace every aspect of that. Mm. The culture, the ocean, everything. So it's, it's really, really nice. Um, tell me, why have you decided to move to Costa Rica? You know, it's one of those things where I think it happens for a lot of us, where we go someplace and we immediately feel like we're home. Yes. And uh, it doesn't make any sense. I grew up in Sweden, <laughs> cold, rainy, snowy, and uh, moved to the U.S. when I was about 21. Okay. And lived there for a long time. I came here on vacation and literally just smack in the head, fell in love with Costa Rica. Can and you then blame I moved her? here. Yeah, that was Can it. Can you blame her? No. Even this scene oh. is just fantastic. Awesome. Uh, amazing. It's just, it, it's much more than just coming to a place, liking it, and staying. It's It's a feeling and it's... Yeah, like you said, feeling like home, and I definitely feel the same here. I've been here over five years now, and every day I feel like I can have access to so much abundance and so much beauty, and just everything is fantastic here, and it's it's a vibe. It's it's a pulse that Costa Rica has, so I'm, I'm also honored to share that. Um, so surfing is one of your hobbies. Um, <laughs> tell, tell, tell me, how does surfing fit into your kind of philosophy of life or your lifestyle Mm. that you believe in? You know what? Surfing, um, you don't have to be good at surfing to love it. And I think that's what happened for me. I paddled out the first time. I was with this amazing surf camp here in Costa Rica in Jaco called Tortuga Surf Camp. So shout out to to our friends there. Yes. And um, it was one of those things where I went in the water and I just knew that I'd come home. I grew up on the water in Sweden, sailed a lot when I was little, but... um, and then all of a sudden you realize that you have to really get committed to surfing. You have to love it. And like paddling out is a lot of work and it's really hard. And then when you're out there, there was worth it. And I feel like that's yeah. life, right? It's Absolutely. not that easy always. Absolutely. And you sometimes you have to work hard for a reward. And it's interesting, you know, I'm a, I also surf. And so it is. It's just like this physically exhausting <laughs> paddling and paddling and you know maybe you miss some waves you could think of that as a metaphor for life as well Mm -hmm. maybe we feel like we've missed some opportunities sometimes but at the end of the day there's always some sort of reward I mean I have times when I surf I just I just paddle out enjoy sit out there maybe watch the sunset and I'm content with that there's so many benefits um in surfing and just i guess just being in the ocean and everything so yeah thank you so much for sharing that i've had the pleasure of surfing with you and it's amazing uh to see her smiling face out there it's so great speaking of gratitude all you need really is you need a board and what i do is i go out before the surf starts and i do my meditation on the board and i literally sit out there and just tell the universe whomever is listening (laughs) <laughs> and it's just usually me. And um, I tell uh, the universe what I'm grateful for. And you sit there and list it. What and a then beautiful... I, and then I serve. Beautiful. Great way to start your day. Great way to start any activity is just giving giving thanks for the blessings that we have in our lives. And honestly, I, I do that every day as well. As soon as I wake up, you know, it's like, thank you for this life. Thank you for this day. Even something as simple as thank you for my apartment. Oh. Thank And you know, the list goes on and on. Yeah. And I think it's just so important to bring awareness to the things, even if they're just, they seem such, such 
so minute, but really it's just a compilation of things that make our lives so rich and it's important to give gratitude to those things. So if you're tuning in, this is Maida, an amazing friend, life coach, competitive dancer, uh, surfista, fantastic <laughs> human friend, um, and we are coming to you from Costa Rica. This is Karma Tribe and we are live today. Happy to bring you our show, Blissin Out, and so happy to have you here. I think we are going to invite Dave back on to the show. We're going to do a little dynamic Ooh, changing so here. So you can stay. Okay, I think he's got in. some questions for you. I'll be right back okay. to do some favors and to share some other things with you. We have nine viewers. Thank you so 11. much. Woo! I, Eleven now. <laughs> Woo! Thanks for joining us, guys. I'll be right back with you. Peace. <laughs> Hello, friends. I'm back. Hello, Maya. Thanks Hello. so much for joining us on the show. Uh, so Maya, I have some very important, deep questions for you. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay. and hello to Adrian. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, that's, that's awesome. All right, Maya. So you're experienced with dealing with these business leaders and you're a very uh, knowledgeable in, in gratitude and in many, uh, deep, uh, life teachings. Uh, Maya, what do you recommend to someone who's feeling like a certain block uh, in their life and they, they're having trouble achieving the goals that they're striving for. You know, it's important, I think, to remember that we all do. We all go through that. And uh, we could use the surf analogy to continue. The, the thing is, you have to continue to push through. And what I would say is sit down and really focus on what you want. What is it that you want from the deepest part of you? Because a lot of times we want things that we think we should have. And then we strive towards them when we meet these blocks. But what I believe and what I've seen happen is when we really are connected to what we want, it almost like it effortlessly happens. So when we have blocks, sometimes it's the world, the universe, God's way, fill in the blanks way of saying, hey, I don't know if this is the direction you really want to go in. So you can look at them as blocks or you can look at them as an opportunity to pause and say, what do I really, really want? Mm. So, so if someone is having trouble figuring out what do they really want, what, what, what kind of advice would you give them? Well, that's what I get a lot of people asking yeah. me that. I'm fortunate in my life to actually know exactly what I want. Yeah. But that didn't happen overnight. So I would say there are a couple of tools I would do. One is to do a future journal. The future journal is where you sit down and write in the present moment what your dream future would look like. So here's what tends to happen. People start and they go, oh, that's too big. Like, I can't possibly have that. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't have this amazing house in Costa Rica and make money and have the love of my life. That's just too many good things. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so part of what we want to get through is we have to get past that mm -hmm. and really figure out what we want. So writing it down, sitting down, writing it down and saying, like, I'm sitting here in this beautiful, you know, jungle in Costa Rica with these amazing friends. I have this tribe of people that I love spending time with. You have to write it. You have to hear yourself say it. Mm -hmm. And it sounds a little new agey sometimes for people, but it works. It's magic. Wow. Write it down and it will manifest. It will. Uh. It has no chance not to. Well, thank you, Maya, for that <laughs> wonderful advice. I see that we have Roger tuning in. Uh, giving us free propaganda to his friends and followers. Uh, a really kind message. Thanks very much, Roger. We really appreciate your support. Uh, thanks so much for yeah being a part of the show and helping us out. Um, so Maya, I would like to switch gears a little and ask you a little bit about, about Karma Tribe and your thoughts on the project and also your experience. But yeah, let's start on what are your thoughts on the project in general? Well, my thoughts are it's amazing. That's my first thought. And I found it, I don't remember how I found it. I think a friend maybe here in Costa Rica said, you got to check this out. Because the what we need to do, and this is my personal belief system, I hope it fits for some of you, that the more we give, you said, the more we get, right? And so, but it's important that we start getting more people together mm -hmm. doing it. Yeah. Because that's when we increase the, the vibration and the manifestation of the world. So this idea of just keep keep a community together that can give and you have a platform that you can use. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really, really important. Yeah, yeah. I completely agree, yeah, because there certainly are lots of people that want to give and want to help others, and there's amazing people all over the place. Uh, but I agree, it's nice to have a technology to help them communicate and stay in touch and uh, have visibility on what people are good at, what people need. So 
I'm glad that you agree that it's an awesome project. Yeah, I do. Uh, what, what's been your experience so far? I know that you you offered a uh, uh, favor on there. I did. And uh, Lorena is in. She's in San Jose. I don't know if she's tuning in today. She wants to start her business, and so I had offered free business coaching. So we're getting together. We're doing that. It's really exciting. She's traveling right now. But um, this idea of being able to share to make everything better in the world. I mean, we have to do that. It's almost like an alternative economy, yeah, right? Yeah. And so we. Um, I so I signed up, and I you and I met through Karma Tribe. Oh, yeah, we yeah. did, actually. Hello. That's crazy. Okay, well, this is living it's proof working. right here. <laughs> yeah, actually, now that I remember, uh, I saw Maya's post on Karma Tribe for her business coaching offering, and the description that she wrote on there was so beautiful, and uh, I was so actually touched by her words that I reached out to her, and I said, uh, you know, I'd really like to meet you, I'd like to connect, and... Uh, we went for a coffee and... Uh, that journey to like a six-hour Yeah, it's a six-hour conversation. conversation. Now it's becoming a <laughs> synergy of uh, collaboration. Last night you gave a free dance class, which I attended, which was amazing. Yeah. That and, was really uh, fun, wasn't that it? That was really fun. Yeah. And Jackie was there too, shaking her bachata moves. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's a perfect example of, you know, you shared your talent, your passion in that particular area, and it created a lot of happiness and pleasure and a special moment for all the participants so well and i think something important happened too my friend oscar decided to come to costa rica and he was like i like to learn about this i want to give back and someone said well how much is the lesson i'm like there's no charge for the lesson and then our friend felix from rugula this amazing organic place here in Hako, showed up and he makes free food for us yeah oh, right? that was amazing yeah so it was like, it just spreads it all over. There are no boundaries. There's no global, like, you live here, I live there. It's mm -hmm. like we come together and we're tribe. Yeah, for sure. And so, actually, I believe that on Friday, January 5th or 6th, <laughs> I'm not sure of the number, but that Friday, we're going to try to organize another dance class, right? Yeah, it's bachata. So bachata for those dance of you class who, uh, in Jaco, Costa yes, Rica. Jaco, Costa Rica. You don't need to know how to dance at all. Yeah, it doesn't matter your level. I'm very bad, but I became... I had a pretty good few good moves last night. You Maya. did have some good moves yeah. last night. You really yeah, did. Well, <laughs> I guess it might be in my blood. Uh, it is. It's in your soul. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So, even if you live in San Jose or Heredia or some other area, it might be worth driving down uh, on that Friday. I guess it's in two weeks to come to this lesson. It's going to be really fun. And we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be filming a Karma Tribe uh, documentary to uh to create a, a crowdfunding video and actually we're going to be traveling all around costa rica during that week from the second to the seventh uh from uh osa peninsula uvita dominical traveling up so if anyone lives along that coast and is interested in being interviewed by us for our videos that would be so fantastic so just contact us Great. so so yeah maya uh what, what kind of things are you grateful for on this fine day? Oh, you know, I start every morning with a gratitude walk at the beach. So I've been warmed up already. So, you know, one of the things I'm most grateful for is tribe, you know, and to meet people all over the world. I travel a lot by myself and it's you meet amazing people, but you've got to open up. You've got to bring something. So the idea of always offering something, maybe a favor, maybe to take someone's photo, maybe to, you know, just buy someone a coffee and creates tribe. So I'm thankful for tribe. I'm thankful for my health because I was talking to a friend of mine, Oscar, who's my salsa buddy who's here, who had leukemia at 25. And oh, that's why he has that. a hip replacement, shoulder replacement. Oh, wow. And so he's limited in things that he can do. So we talked and he said the same thing. He's like, yeah, I, I, 25, I, you know, he's in his late thirties now mm -hmm. and we're still able to, to paddle board and surf and dance and it's yeah. Been amazing. Yeah? yeah. Health is one of those things that you, it's easy to take for granted if it's in good, if it's good, but when it's not good, then it's it's the worst. Yeah, and I'm I'm thankful for life, just to be able to live this amazing life. If I'm also thankful for my courage, and I think a lot of times we talked a little bit today here at Karma Tribe about how, for those of us who've chosen to move here, it looks really easy. Everyone's like, oh, you live in paradise, mm -hmm. it's easy. Well, you have to actually have courage to do the yeah. things in life that you really mm -hmm. love. And so I'm grateful for that. I don't know where it came from, somewhere. Someone <laughs> gave me some courage, um, and I'm really grateful. So I think it's so beautiful that, you, uh, that you're that you grateful for your own qualities and 
proud and recognizing your own strengths because I think a lot of people are, are shy and me included kind of shy to like, uh, accept and be proud of good qualities. And I think that's also very relevant to the Karma Tribe project wherein, you know, you can offer and request anything you want on, on our website, karmatribe.com. And so, uh, you have to, yeah, you have to not be shy about offering what your strengths are because it really feels good and yeah. it can really help others. And, and, uh, yeah. And I remember, I'm going to put Dave on the spot a little bit, but I said, so why didn't you pick up my favor? What did you say? Yeah, I actually I think I said that I felt like I didn't really deserve it because, <laughs> yeah, on Karma Tribe, Maya was offering uh, business coaching and she coaches, you know, top CEOs. And so I thought, well, you know, I've, here I am with my little company. I mean, am I really the person that should accept this favor? Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, yeah, so... Right. And so part of actually what I, what I work with my clients on and when I teach others is you've got to own your, I got to own yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to ask for help and not be afraid to receive. I think that's the biggest thing. And this comes from my good friend, Pablo. He, uh, he's a Costa Rican. He's, uh, when I met him here, he said, you have to learn to receive. And, and I don't do that well. Yeah. And uh, I think it's something we all have to work on. So we created this special place we call the receiving room. So if you enter there emotionally, physically, mentally, you are to receive. Yeah. It's a really cool concept. So you may want to create some receiving rooms, or receiving uh, situations around to, to accept the goodness. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, there's being open to... Uh, to being proud of your skills and then there's also being open to being vulnerable and accepting help from others and both of those are kind of outside the standard uh comfort zone but yeah it's 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 amazing and also when you open yourself to accepting something from someone you give them the pleasure yeah. of helping you yeah and uh so yeah, it's, I guess it's like a two-way channel that needs to be opened up. It really does. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't work, and that's karma. You know, we talk about what you give, you get, and it works in the positive and the negative. So really watching for, for all of that. Yeah. We're not perfect humans, right? Exactly. Still... Well, you might be pretty close. Nope, <laughs> nope, I am not. Trust me. <laughs> that's, not, that's a different show altogether. <laughs> Let's talk about our deep, dark secrets. <laughs> you should have that show. Ooh. <laughs> that, that, that could be an interesting uh, show, too. Yeah, well. The dark side yeah. of the bliss. <laughs> uh, so, Maya, uh, thank you so much for being on the show. You're just a radiant, inspiring person, so it's a pleasure to have you. And, uh, yeah, hope to have you again in the future on our show, and good luck with everything. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a beautiful morning. So Okay, we'll yeah. see you. Hasta Ciao. luego. Bueno. <laughs> ah, guys, what a day. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, Devi. Thanks for your kind words. Hello, Mario. Como está você do Brasil? We got some Portuguese popping into the chat. Uh, Jackie, come on down, girl. Coming back in. Oh, hello, guys. Thanks for having me back. Maya, big shout out to you. Fantastic to have yeah. you on our show. Just amazing, and thank you for sharing with all of our viewers. Thank you guys for tuning in with us yeah. today. We're extremely happy. Dave, I come bearing you a gift. Wow. Special thank you very tropical much. Tropical fruits. Oh, I love these things. They're called Uchuvas, mm. and they're fantastic for your health. They are yeah. in English, they're Sweet, called sour, gooseberries, tasty. and they're amazing and so healthy for you and so good. Um, and so, yes, actually, I wanted to comment on something Maya was saying about gratitude and how important it is. I, I just, I loved all of her points and everything that she says all the time. Um, and so, one thing that I'm seeing is, um, as soon as you start giving thanks for, for your gifts and for your, you know, your blessings and whatever else, as soon as you really start to recognize those gifts and recognize what you've, you know, the abundance that you're given, even if it's small things, right? Uh, they start to reproduce. Yeah. They start to just accumulate. As soon as you're aware of something like uh, this beautiful leaf that keeps touching my face, for example, <laughs> I love it. Um, then if, if you're, if you just like recognize the beauty that's around it, it just reproduces and expands and explodes. Yeah. 
unlike exactly, anything yeah. else. And so I think that's some some sort of like mental conscious yeah. track that you have to get on. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, it's a very deep subject, and it might merit its own blissing out episode. But yeah, you certainly create your own reality, and the things that you focus on end up becoming your reality. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, and if you if you're always thankful for all the kind people around you, the people that are helping you, then yeah. suddenly you have more and more people helping you. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And yes. hello to Eva. Great to see you tuning in. Eva! Thanks for that uh, philosophical message. The law of giving and receiving. Keep the circle whole. Beautiful words from Eva. Fantastic. And Thank ja you. Jackie, let's get to our favorites. Okay. What do we got going on Perfect. today? Today, let me grab them. Uh, here is our favorite bucket. We're going to expose some of the active favors on Karma Tribe right now. Really interesting stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, would you do the honors? Well, I, I want to respond to uh, Dikla's message. She says she identifies with the part that it's a lot easier to give than to get or to ask for help and feeling worthy of it. That's so true. And yes. an interesting thing that we've noticed is that on our Karma Tribe website, we have three or four times more people offering things than requesting things. It takes it takes a certain confidence, a certain stepping into your uh, vulnerability to um, to accept something from a stranger or to request something out to the universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you're right, Dikla. That's the that's the toughest part for everyone. Yes. And uh, I don't know really what the key is. I guess the key is just to be open to it. And it'll start building on itself. Yeah, I think even just the, the idea of being aware of it. Um, and then you can put steps in, into trying to put yourself outside of your comfort zone. And yeah, we are all worth so much abundance. Yeah. So, and, and just taking the risk too. Just take yeah. the risk. And give the person the pleasure yeah. of helping you. Yeah, it really is a pleasure. Um, I, I, I love giving my services a hug, a smile, whatever, and no me cuesta nada. It doesn't cost anything to me it, it, at all, but maybe it just makes everyone, the, a person's day so much better, and the benefits are endless, so I would really encourage all of you guys to step outside of that zone and, and, and kind of yeah. request and, and be open to receiving, yeah. like Mai just said, receive. Or maybe just, receive. like, explore our website, karmatribe.com, yeah. and look at all the things that are offered and accept something from someone. Accept your a ukulele lesson or a French lesson or a surf class or a programming help or whatever it is. Accept yeah. it, and it, like it's definitely going to open up a new uh, some new possibilities. You're going to meet someone new. You're going to learn new skills. It's it's really neat. And uh, yeah, our show like part of what we're trying to do with our show is expose some of these amazing things. So, without any further ado, Jackie, what do we got going on on bueno, Karma Tribe? Está bien. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, we have Haga again, okay, from... <laughs> <laughs> that's their username. Sorry if I Wait, mispronounced can, that. can you hug again? Hug again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you for the creative usernames that I can't pronounce. Ah! Um, from San Jose, and they're requesting help with Chinese. Okay, they say, I used to live in Taiwan for five, uh, five years ago. And back then, my Chinese was okay, but since I moved back to Costa Rica, I've had little chance to practice, so it would be greatly appreciated. Hey! Wow. I bet you there's somebody out there on the Karma Tribe yeah. Network that could offer Chinese... Yeah, there uh, certainly must ...conversation. Be. How interesting. That's How amazing. Cool. And if you've already got a, a base in that language, all due respect yeah. to you. If you're tuning in from Beijing, well, maybe you should help uh, Hot Gut Gin out. Next! We have, oh, another difficult one to pronounce. <laughs> Priyanksha from Chicago offering guitar tutoring. Ooh. Five years of experience. A, sp an, a, a lot of experience in Indian classical music. He says, feel free to reach out. Yes. Priyanksha is willing to teach you guitar online or in person from Chicago. Ah, it's amazing. Yeah, that's really beautiful. I love it. How nice to connect. Yeah. And I love, I love the fact that these favors can be, um, they can, you can get them online. So maybe you could video with your guitar yeah. and, you know, bliss out with each other, kind of like go back and forth with some, some melodies, learn some chords. Love it. Uh, next one. 
This is an offer from Jose Aria, and he is offering electronics design consulting. Wow. Um, he says, if you're an electronics student or hobbyist who needs a second opinion about a project you're currently designing, just let me know. I'm especially interested in digital circuits, sensors, power consumption, optimization, uh, PCB design, data logging, biosignals measurement, etc. Wow. Now, I'm not exactly sure what all that means, but I'm sure if you need it, you know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. Impressive that's, list. that's amazing. We have like some, yeah, like technical specialists. Yeah. Offering stuff like that. Wow. You know, I, I, I have a degree in physics and I didn't fully understand, uh, you know, all the things offered there. But uh, yeah, I'm certainly, certainly this guy could really help a lot of people. I know it. And I, I feel like also so that those are the kind of services that probably cost a pretty penny, if you know what I mean. So, Ooh, yes. Yeah. A pretty colone. <laughs> and so it's just it's nice <laughs> it's nice because you know maybe that's something maybe that's something that you you know you wouldn't even think is possible because you can't afford it but there it is yeah. that's pretty pro that's yeah. super pro all right dave Up what next, do we got next we got dun, 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 dun. we have annie s in Iredia, costa rica offering both in person and online, offering help with presentations and public speaking. Oh. That is a significant favor. She says, I'm good with words and presentations. Uh, if you need help with presentations or public speaking, I'm your person. She's your person. Yes. That's, Woo. that's... I'm speechless. Oh, I'm speechless. <laughs> well, hey, I want to shout out to our 17 viewers right now. Thank you so much. Um, it's such an honor to have you on our show. Stay tuned in. Feel free to comment. Let us know where you're tuning yeah, in let from. Let us know where you're from. Pleasure Say hello. To have Don't you. be shy. Pleasure to have you here on our amazing show. And Listen out, and you, we love it. Yeah, and hello to Alan tuning in from the Netherlands. Great to yes. have you. Oh, What's yeah. What's up, buddy? He sends a friendly roar. And hey, if anyone needs help with presentations or public speaking, reach out to Annie. We're going to link up all these favors afterwards on the post, probably in a couple hours after the stream. So be, uh, be sure to tune back. Love it. From Miami. Alan is in Miami. Nice. Cool. Roger from Erelia. Thank you so much for joining us. It's freezing in Erelia. Man, I don't know about that. Woo, but I bet you it's, it's colder than here. We, we, we're totally tropical here in Playa Hermosa. Hope you stay warm, buddy. And stay tuned in. Stay tuned in. I just think of all the people in like like the states right now in the northern part. And they're frozen in. And they just got these frozen yeah. driveways. And I have to send love to you. Including my family, actually. They're all up there right now yeah. together. So shout out to my stay family. Stay warm. Stay safe. And come visit us in Costa Rica as soon as you possibly can. Yes, please do. All right. Well, the next favor we have going on uh, on KarmaTribe.com is from Debbie in San Jose. And she's requesting English conversation. Totally trending on Karma Tribe. Conversation classes in all different types of languages. I love it. Yeah. She says, I need someone to talk in English in order to reinforce my conversational skills. Nice. Well, it sounds like your conversational skills are pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I love it. But of that, course, I'm sure somebody's out there to help her out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, the viewers tuning in probably can speak uh, good English in general. So maybe someone out there can reach out and help Debbie. That would be beautiful. Absolutely. I just want to make a shout out to Oscar. Thank you so much for joining us, man. Me encanta. Gracias por tuning in, Oscar. Mi profe, pura vida. Felices vacaciones, profe. Pura vida. Next on Karma Tribe, we have. Oh, here we have Jose Esquivel in San Jose offering advisory and teaching Java. Now, I don't think he means the coffee. I think he means the programming <laughs> language. Ooh, I would have gone for the coffee. He says, I can give advice and solutions to problems in Java programming. Now, you want to talk about something that's worth a pretty penny. Jose's favor here, assistance in Java. 
is very valuable and very useful. So thank you, Jose, for offering this beautiful yeah. favor. All these technological favors are something that people pay a, a lot of money for. Yeah, I know yeah. it. You pay to study it. You pay to, you know, you charge for the service. And so thank you so much. Uh, shout out to Gabriel. Thank you for the vibes and San Pedro Pura Vida. Um, so nice to have you. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> it's an honor to be your distraction least, from work. <laughs> yeah. You got your priorities straight. Oh, man. <laughs> well, the next favor we have um, is from Cristian in San Jose, and he's offering veterinary services. Fantastic, wow. man. Uh, he says he can help answer questions in veterinary related to veterinary medicine. Wow. For wow. your pets. For your pets. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. Super generous. Yeah. Super generous. Thank you very much for that. <sighs> yeah. I, I can just imagine someone with a sick dog, cat, or, or even bird, and finding him on Karma Tribe and finding help. Uh, it touches my heart just to think of that scenario. I love it. Next, we have I Hormasa from Alajuela offering surf classes in Hermosa. Oh, yeah. Mm. Surf classes for beginners on weekends in Jaco or Hermosa. That sounds fantastic. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Hermosa has actually some world famous waves and it's an honor to be exposed to that. And man, seriously, I, I was just actually talking to Maida about how perfect this place is to learn surfing and how almost every day we have surfable waves. So aprovecha, yeah. take advantage Come down of to the that. Beach. Come on down. Take advantage of that favor. I'm also offering surf classes and yes. uh yeah, I have it's... I have a ton of surfboards in my house. Come use them. Yeah. Feel free. Feel free. Yes. What do we got next? In All the, righty uh, then. In the karmic bin. Next up, we have Catherine Solano from uh, Alajuela, and she's offering Illustrator class, which is actually free Adobe Illustrator class. Wow. Yet another technological, yeah. you know, yeah. service. That is, I imagine, extremely beneficial. Oh, yeah. And this is more than technological. It's artistic. It's a very valuable skill, making logos, making designs, graphic designs. And I know Catherine, and she's actually part of the Karma Tribe team, and she's a brilliant designer. And this is an amazing opportunity wow. for someone. Well, thank you so much, yeah, Catherine. Thanks, Catherine. Really for appreciate your it. Yes. Uh,. So it looks yes. like we're down to our last favor. Mm -hmm. We have Vortiz in San Jose offering healthy beverages slash herb garden. He says, my favorite drink is kombucha. If you want to learn about this, I can teach you. In the same way, I can give you advice for creating your own herb garden of medicinal plants. Are you interested? Let me know. Lots of love. Well, from Vortiz. Wow, Vortiz. Lots of love right back to you. That's yeah. that's amazing. Um, kombucha, super healthy, uh, probiotic drink, amazing. I actually make it in my house as well, and I highly recommend it. Yeah. Um, and I have to say, I kind of want to make a, an herb garden in my house. Maybe I'll contact well, yeah, him. Yeah, contact Vortiz. Medicinal plants. I would love that in my house. So, yeah. So, thank you to everyone who tuned in. Uh, it's really a pleasure to have you. I'm I'm grateful. Uh, I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for the Karma Tribe project. I'm grateful for everyone tuning in and showing their support, offering, requesting favors on our website, karmatribe.com. And uh, please, yeah, Jackie, yeah. thank you. Thank you for being a part of the show. Thank <gasps> you, Maya, for being a part of this show. It's been really wonderful. Yes, thank you for creating this and giving this opportunity. Thanks for having us. Um, shout out to all of our viewers, Dave. Me puedes servir otro mate, por favor, para. Hello to Camino, tuning in from Bolivia. Great to see you, my friend. Hi, thank you so much for joining and, us. Um, yeah, we have we have kind of two calls to action before we wrap up uh, this show. First of all, we are going to be taking a trip from the 2nd to the 7th, from Osa Peninsula up the coast all the way to Jaco. And we're going to be interviewing all kinds of different people. If you're part of Karma Tribe, if you've had an experience with Karma Tribe and you live along that itinerary, send us a message. We would love to interview you and hear about your experiences. 
Absolutely. If you're available to host us. Yeah, if you're available to let us crash in, our, in your room or something, then that would be awesome too. Fantastic. Yeah. Because we're going to be traveling with a camera crew and uh, we're going to be filming a bunch of footage. Yeah, we're making our documentary, Karma Tribe documentary. We're going to be doing amazing things, hopefully surfing, being immersed in nature, meeting amazing Karma Tribers, completing favors, mm -hmm. and just, just overall spreading the vibe. So we're really looking forward to that yeah. trip. And one other thing is if, uh, if you want to organize a cleanup in your area in the name of Karma Tribe, all you have to do is you pick a place, you pick a time, you send it to us, and we'll help you create the Facebook event, promote it, and all you have to do is show up to that place, and other people will show up, and you just clean it up for an yes. hour, yes. and make new friends, and start a tradition in your area of cleaning up a park, or a neighborhood, or a beach, or a mountain. Yes. Because cleanups are starting to pop up around the world in the name of Karma Tribe, and it's a really exciting and beautiful way to help the world and to grow the Karma Tribe uh, awareness and the project. Agreed. And I have to say the, the cleanups are a pleasure. The beach cleanups, we do them every other week here. Total pleasure in every way. So I would highly recommend organizing one near you. That would be so great. So appreciated, appreciated by me, Dave, and Mother Nature, of yeah. course. So um, yes, coming to you live, karmatribe.com. Please feel free to log in. Uh, check us out. We are a marketplace of free goods and services. Yeah. Anything at all. Offer and request favors and enjoy life. Yeah. Be grateful. Yeah. In, yes. And uh, yeah, our, we'll, we'll be skipping uh, next week for the show. So enjoy your wonderful holiday season and we'll be with you in two weeks again for another episode of Blissin' Listen Out. Out. So thanks to everyone for joining. Uh, Always, it's a pleasure for you to leave a comment and to know where you're from, even if you're watching this later. And yeah, thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Gratitude. Pura ya.